Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. If you're new or you didn't subscribe yet, do consider doing so. I would really appreciate that. And we start with two very good news. First of all, a new battery cell production and battery factory from Panasonic. And then later on, we go to Shanghai. So I made three circles here for you. Austin down below where we have the current factory and expansion happening and we have Kansas. So that is the new location of the Panasonic 4680 battery cell production. And that is a good sign because it is so central in the United States that I do assume that they are not only going to deliver it to Austin factory, but in the future to another factory, because I believe they will do another factory in the East, maybe not in Indiana, maybe even in Philadelphia, who knows, but they will do one. That is what I believe. And then Kansas can deliver to the East Coast and South to Austin. And you have Nevada where Panasonic is working with Tesla together that is delivering as well to the factory in Fremont. So that is actually doing um, the plan here. And even though we have the 2170 cells uh, currently coming from Nevada as well to Austin, again, it is a very, very good news for Tesla. $4 billion will be invested um, and we will see how fast they can build this factory. Again, we will see the real effect on production in maybe two or two and a half years. Let's see how fast they can build this factory. And this is good news for the semi, good news for the Cybertruck, good news for the Model Y standard range. So again, guys, limitation in battery cell production um, might not be the case anymore in a few years if that is continuing like they are planning to build battery cell productions here. But again, guys, um, keep in mind, it is only for Tesla. So Panasonic is not building here batteries for anybody else. That is the information we have so far. So um, this is on one hand, very good news. We have further good news if we are looking into the Austin factory. We have Joe Tegmeyer, but as well Jeff Roberts talking about the amount of cars we currently see here at the Austin factory. And both are actually saying um, that it could be the case that they are currently producing around a thousand cars per week. We were already when it came to estimates way higher than that, but I do believe um, 1,000 to 1,400 cars is realistic. That is what they are talking about when they calculate the daily output. What is very interesting, and I said that on my German channel as well, you have the blue color, you have the red color, you have the gray color, but no white, no black. And this is something in Giga Berlin, we have black and white, but no other color. So um, kind, of, kind of weird, um, the strategy, but it seems like they want to sell the premium cars first because people pay more money for those colors they are currently delivering to customers. So um, again, guys, Austin doing a good job. If there will be any pause, we have to see, are they doing any upgrades like in Giga Berlin at some point? That will be an open question. Then looking into the morning chorus, and as I'm currently doing the video right now, it really looks like it could be the first ship going towards the South Pier um, to the Shanghai factory. Again, guys, there can be any changes happening anytime. Um, I do have actually um, some rumors saying that Morning Clara, another ship, could be the first ship to Australia. Um, so that could be the case as well. Um, but there is no proof yet. But I just want to let you know because I know that some of you guys from Australia are watching right now waiting for your Tesla car. So um, there could be um, a new car actually coming as well, a new ship coming to Shanghai picking up cars as well. Then looking and do the current situation, um, remember we don't have any Model Y production currently until the 17th and afterwards we have no Model 3 production until the 6th of August. Um, after the upgrade, we are looking at 14,000 Model Y and 7,700 Model 3. So again, this could be um, a massive, massive end of a quarter push when it comes to Q3 and especially when it comes to Q4, it will be just insane. Talking about insanity, Tesla has been filling this um, square on top. This is the parking lot at the shipping dock and it looks like it's all full. So they are currently still continuing to um, build cars and though therefore we can expect more ships to come. If it's for Australia or Europe, we will see. Um, again, guys, um, Tesla is keeping up 
and trying to do its best to um, make production happen. So um, the empty uh, space over here is from an old video from Vuva. I do expect that production is already a bit higher right now, again, for the Model 3 before it will shut down by the 17th. Then we will have a major wave of Model Y for another two weeks. So again, guys, it looks like we have been right that this entire process might take four weeks um, not shut down, uh, not shutting down the entire factory for that time, but just continuing to um, produce cars. Looking into the FSD update, there's supposed to come one very soon. Um, we are talking here about the 10.11, which is uh, to go to internal beta tomorrow. External next week should handle Chuck complex left turn. Another big news is Andre Kapathi is leaving actually Tesla. Well, the big news here is not a big surprise. Prize. For all those following Tesla, we do know that there has been already people working in his position. As he departed by himself, he said he wanted to take a break, but there were already a lot of indications that he could actually move forward and um, actually move away from Tesla. So he did a great job, um, respect to him, and um, I hope he's going to have a good journey ahead um, with his family. Um, but it really was something which we could expect that it wasn't clear if he would come back actually or not. Um, so I think Elon Musk must have been aware of that and they have been already working on uh, with, with other people um, that are capable of doing this work. For the Model Y long range, I'm just looking into Germany again, guys. So um, it seems like for all those waiting for Model Y performance and a Model Y long range, um, again, I don't have any updates on people for the um, right hand um, steering wheel. Um, the last update I got was a few weeks ago that they're currently testing on that. Um, so I am keen to wait for the upgrade. Once the upgrade is done, which is for another um, six days, um, then we will see if we have as well production for the British market. Um, for the European market, um, we clearly have the Model Y long range right after production starts again as well, as well as the Model Y performance. The reason behind not taking any more colors is a big question mark. We don't know why Tesla does that. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's the same question we could answer, um, ask in Austin, why no white colors, why no black colors? And why is Tesla not doing any other colors in Germany? So that is a big question we don't know yet. So if you're from Europe or the UK, do check out our website. We do deliver European customers and my podcast. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time and wish you a wonderful day. Take care.